Clear family. Of course, this show is to educate those who are fascinated with nostalgia, as well as movies, music, cartoons, and a few other things as well. On every show for every month, we have a different year, and every week is a different subject, such as cartoons, movies, and music. Uh, this week, as you can see, we're flying solo, and you know, that's okay. Uh, Rick has a business thing going on, um, as well as Ro is uh, working on a few things, uh, such as moving. So, you know, it's perfectly fine. It's okay. Hopefully, you know, I don't bore you guys too much. Um, because, of course, I want to make sure that I bring as much uh, fun and education to you guys as much as possible. Uh, no updates as of right now. However, make sure you go and grab your dad shirt that's in the store. If you are a fan of New Balance, jorts, uh, fanny packs, and this shirt is for you. Um, as well as be on the lookout for a dad campaign, too. More in the works going forward. And if you are in the Tampa, Orlando, or even Lakeland area, or the surrounding areas, make sure you follow us, uh, only because the get dad campaign is something that might interest you. Uh, other than that, be sure to follow us in general, subscribe to our podcast, subscribe to us on YouTube as well, and to visit our store and, you know, support us as much as possible, because we do this for you. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and continue the story of 1986 with the premier cartoons in 19. Uh, 86, which I've said that year so many times. So let's stop the mumbling and rambling and let's get to it. Back in time. All right. Now, the premiere cartoons is what I exactly just said. There are cartoons that premiered in 1986, though some of them were popular. Some of them may have not been popular to the point where it was only five episodes long. So this is just kind of like a uh, diagram of which episodes or which cartoon has done better than the others. Um, number one, for an example, is G-Force Guardians of Space, which had an 85 episodic run, uh, IMDb score 7.4 out of 10. It's about a bird-themed superhero uh, that team, uh, well, team itself battles the threat of Galactor and his minions, an international terrorist organization with advanced technology to start Barbara Goodson, Jan Rebson, Sam Fontana, Bill Capizzi, and Cam Clark. It's a uh, one fun fact is, uh, I guess there's a character named uh, Galactors. His, uh, he or she status uh, was actually a hermaphrodite, um, but it was never acknowledged in G-Force. This is because Turner Broadcasting opted not to dub the episodes relating to this plot development. Um, which, you know, in today's modern society, it might be a little different um, because there is some, uh, you know, maybe teen to adult cartoons that would implement that um, because, you know, in today's society, we may have uh, grown as a country, um, though there are a few things that we could grow on as well. Um, and, you know, I love this country and, you know, it's the best country out there. But obviously, you could see the change between um, 70s, 80s, 60s, 40s, and today. Uh, we are not the same country as we were back then. Um, so obviously, something like this may, you know, get away or may be able to do a uh, cartoon relating to the, a storyline like this. But anyways, number two is Silverhawks. It has a 65 episodic run. It was IMDb, 7.3 out of 10. This is about an outer space gangster known as Monstar, which kind of reminds me of Space Jam, the Monstars. Uh, Monstar escapes Penel, even though it kind of reminds me of Penal, planet. The limbo section of the galaxy is in peril. It takes an elite team of cyborgs called the Silverhawks, assembled as a counterforce that's a limbo's best hope against Monstar's gang. Uh, Silverhawks honestly reminds me of where I grew up in, in the, uh, Michigan, the lower part of Michigan, Southwest, the Wajak to be specific. Um, there was a uh, minor league baseball team in South Bend, Indiana uh, called the Silverhawks. So that's kind of what it reminds me of. But this cartoon starred Pete Ken Kenarosi, Maggie Wheeler-Bob McFadden, Carl Hammond, Peter Newman, Adolf Caesar. Uh, 
<clears throat> the seasoning, the seasoning. Yeah, I like this cartoon needs seasoning. Yeah, you know, a little paprika, maybe some uh, splash of oregano. But anyways, from my mouth mumbling, the setting of the series is the 29th century. A fun fact as well is at the end of each sub episode, an educational segment followed Bluegrass would question the, the Copper Kid on lessons of astronomy, which is fascinating to me. Um, the astronomy has always been fascinating to me in general. I remember growing up as a kid, looking up in the stars and, you know, always wanting to explore like, what kind of planets are in there, uh, what kind of, you know, universes are out there. Obviously, it's, there's just not us, but we'd love to explore that. Um, you know, now having a family, would love to explore that with the family itself. Um, just, you know, experience new things and experience, uh, what, you know, what God has created, basically. Um, just a whole vast universe of the unknown. And it's just that feeling of wanting to go out there and adventure and to see what life is. Uh, see if, you know, there are other planets who's more sophisticated as us, who's more technology driven, um, what kind of things are on their planets as well. Um, if that's something that interests you, then, you know, let us know down below too. Like if there's, what, what is it, I guess the question of the day is what is it in the outer space and other planets and other galaxies fascinate you the most? I want to know that. The team wants to know that. Um, I know it's a little different than our usual, you know, entertainment questions, but, you know, astronomy is, I guess, in a way, an entertainment of its own, right? Getting our imaginations to wander, getting our thoughts to uh, come together, and, you know, that's, look at Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, look at a lot of the comic books, it's an individual's concept or ideas or, you know, creativity of what could be out there, though it's probably not 100% accurate, it just leaves it up to the imagination. Uh, number three is The Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. It was in 65 episodic run. IMDb score is 7.6 out of 10. It's about four elite galaxy rangers with unique abilities to defend law and order among the space colonies and protect humanity from the evil Crown Emperor. It starred Jerry Obach, Bob Button, Bob Button Laura Dean Maria Denzinger, Ray Owens, Doug Prius, and Earl Hammett. Um, unfortunately, there is nothing as far as fun facts about this. Um, I looked everywhere, and I guess this show, even though it was a 65-episode run, didn't do a lot. So we'll just move on to the number four, which is the Centurions, 65-episodic run, 7.7 7 out of 10 on IMDb. It's the most powerful fighting force of the 21st century. Centurions are equipped with special exo-frame suits. They are ultimate fighters as well as Earth's only defense against Dr. Terror and his Doom drones. It starred Pat Fraley, Neil Ross, Vince Edwards, Ron Feinberg, Ed Gilbert, Diane Pershing, Bill Martin. Apart from the series, there was a comic book by DC Comics, which, you know, is not unknown to many comic book readers and knowledgeable in the comic books. I mean, look at... Um, a lot of things such as, you know, Power Rangers, who TV show ended up being a comic book now and pretty famous comic book. A lot of DC, Marvel, IDW, Image, they all do their own thing as far as doing spinoffs to comic books. Uh, Rick and Morty is another one um, that has its own comic book. Uh, look at a lot of the Disney stuff too. You know, a lot of the old Disney cartoons uh, became comic books, even nowadays, the cartoons as well. Sonic the Hedgehog is another one. Um, so it's not, uh, it, it's very known that, uh, you know, cartoons become comic books later on during the years or during the seasons or even in the beginning. Uh, the other fun fact is Max Ray's appearance was based on that of the little character, or I'm sorry, of the title character of Magnum P.I. Also resembles Olympic swimmer Mark Spitz. Never heard of Mark Spitz before, but would love to know about Mark Spitz fascinated with new knowledge and just, you know, fun facts in general. This head is filled, it's not empty space, it's just filled with just random knowledge that somebody would just look at you weird with. But hey, it's knowledge, right? You got to educate yourself. Number five is uh, Chuck Norris, Karate Commandos. It only had a five episodic run, 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb. 
While Chuck Norris is an U.S. government operative who has a team consisting of Pepper, a technological genius, Kimmo, the samurai warrior, his apprentice Reed, the summon warrior Tab, Tab, and the young ward Too Much. <laughs> too Much. I guess that's the name of the young ward. Uh, together, they try to stop the claw. And this is not the claw from you know, Toy Story. That's the claw. No, this is um, also not Inspector Gadget's claw, which if I'm not mistaken, that was the villain in there. If I'm wrong, call me out on it. Um, Star Trek Norris, James Avery, Bill Martin, Alan Oppenheimer, Kathy Garver, and Keon Young. Uh, fun fact about this is the name of Chuck Norris is spoken nine times in the introduction sequence alone and shown twice. Um, Chuck Norris has also starred in a movie sequence as well with Bruce Lee, too. Did not know that, but you can find a clip on YouTube, so it's kind of fascinating. Um, I remember Chuck Norris jokes. Chuck Norris jokes were big in, like, the early 2000s, and, you know, it's considered, I would say, a dad joke nowadays, too, uh, which is always great to know. But uh, that, guys, those are the cartoons that premiered in 1986. So if you remember those cartoons, do you have a cartoon that you watched in 1986 that may have been a premiere, may not have been a premiere? We want to know. So again, like, subscribe button on YouTube, comment below, let us know what cartoons you uh, were fascinated in, and even follow us on social media as the question goes out to social media too. Um, it's one of the topics as well. Um, so just, yeah, go ahead and follow us, show us support. Again, description for the stores down below. And with that in mind, we uh, want to thank you for joining this week. Next week will be the top music. Uh, hopefully, we will have Ro back. Um, and with that, we look forward to seeing you guys soon. See ya.